whether it's principles or people what should be the first concern of public administration people are the first then comes principles if you are calling principles as first concern then it is not public it is private administration for private or business administration it is principles efficiency economy but for public administration first comes people citizens their needs and then comes efficiency and economy all right so we cannot sacrifice people for the sake of efficiency and economy so in public administration we cannot sacrifice people for the sake of efficiency uh, efficiency and economy but in business administration it is efficiency economy which is more important than people all right so maintaining these three e's are given importance over customers whereas in public administration citizen citizen is important citizens cannot be sacrificed all right so this is one thing so public administration public administration it is not about growth so when we are calling it as growth it is three e's pabad is not about bringing growth pabad is about ensuring change managing change that is bringing development how we define de development how what is development development is always seen as change oriented bringing about a specific change it is change oriented bringing change all right so it is change oriented but not growth right so this change this uh, what you call uh, people citizens they itself shows the ethical concerns of public administration all right so public administration cannot be neutral to people it should always encourage active participation active citizenry participation in administration right active participation of citizens in administration so public administration public administration is concerned about pabad is concerned about active participation of people all right so this is one thing all right and here this new public administration or the minabrook conference minabrook conference has challenged basic structural features of public administration so if take public administration it is always guided by its own structural features right which we borrowed from weber right remember we always equate public administrators or public administration with the institution of bureaucracy we always equate we always equate the institution of uh, equate public administration with the institution of bureaucracy right and that too a bureaucracy uh, a bureaucracy that is de uh, designed by weber a bureaucracy that is given by weber or designed by weber all right now weber always gave importance to structural futures he always gave importance to structural futures right he has highlighted he has highlighted the importance of structural futures in administration all right so he has highlighted the importance of structural futures in administration so that is traditionally traditionally public administration it gave importance to this structural features like hierarchy division of work unity of command supervision so all these are different features of public administration so whether public administration should focus on structure or on functions obviously it is functions functions should dominate over the structures so always use this kind of terminology in the exam always use this kind of terminology all right i have seen i have correct so in the morning uh, I, i was correcting one of the candidates answer all right who took coaching in uh, lukman where his answers are more generalized in nature 
even the terminology that, uh, even the terminology that is used it is highly generalized so you cannot expect marks with that kind of terminology right so when you are writing answers when you are writing answers you need to use the subject specific terminology so in public administration we have our own terminology we have we have our own what call vocabulary so we need to use that vocabulary we should use that vocabulary all right so structure or functions we have one uh, approach called as structural functional approach structural and structural functional approach actually given by talcott persons all right so structure of public administration and functions of public administration so what is important whether structure or functions if you take business administration it is first structure and then functions but for public administration our service delivery is more important so public administrators public administrators are meant for providing services so public administrators are meant for their public service delivery so functions are more important than structures all right so uh, giving uh, instead of giving more importance to structural features public administrators should give more importance to functional features all right so this is what about all right uh, the basic concerns the basic concerns that were shown by the scholars of public administration all right so these are the basic concerns shown by scholars of public administration in mino brook one conference all right all right so now so are you clear about this minibu conference and the concerns of scholars of public admission in minibu conference all right so so take down a question on this explain the reason explain the factors explain the factors that led to explain the factors that led to emergence of explain the factors that led to emergence of new public administration so whatever questions i am giving in the class they are of basic level right for a first time for a first timers right so in the exam so normally right once we complete this uh, what you call uh, this mm, uh, topics all right so in the next saturday you will be having a basic level questions but after this once i complete the first chapter and first uh, first level exam then the next level exam on first chapter will be of difficult level questions all right the level of difficulty will be increased all right so normally i have a three different styles of asking questions basic questions second level right it will be what you call uh, some moderate difficult questions and third level highly abstract questions all right so these are the basic level questions that is you should know what is what of the topics what is what the basic information about the issues that is the kind of question that uh, that you see in your school days all right so basic factors about emergence of new public administration next question all right analyze the differences between analyze the differences between new public administration and analyze the differences between new public administration and traditional public administration analyze the differences between new public administration and traditional public administration all right
analyze the difference between new public administration and traditional public administration. Next level of question. How the Minobrook Bun Conference? How Minobrook Bun Conference? How Minobrook Bun Conference has brought? How Minobrook Bun Conference has brought philosophical and ethical concerns? Philosophical and ethical concerns within public administration within public administration right so okay then so now let us talk about so what are the basic goals of new public administration right goals of new public administration all right right so according to frank marini right according to frank marini right the basic goals he has identified five goals of new public administration so frank marini has identified five goals of new public administration namely relevance values equity change and client orientedness all right namely all right relevance values social equity change and client orientedness all right so these are so these are a five goals of new public administration these are five goals of new public administration which are identified so let us talk about each of this relevance all right if you take relevance so to what public administration should be relevant for to what pubad should be relevant for all right so as i said whether to principles or people to efficiency and economy or to the needs and demands of people society so concern relevant should be towards public administration should be relevant it should be relevant to the needs requirements of society so problems of society so public administration should be relevant right it should be relevant to the societal needs and problems but not to the but not to the right the structural requirements of public administration but not to the principles or efficiency so though they are important but they are secondary primary thing is the society and their needs all right so this is one goal relevant to whom and to what public administration should be relevant for second one is right the uh, values right if you take the second goal second goal as highlighted it is values right so what should be the values right to what public administrator should give importance whether to efficiency or economy or to the goals of constitution to the goals set by the what you call government what should be given importance what should be the preference of public administration the goals given by government of the day right so the goals of constitution right so public administration should be concerned with this what you call goals goals as given by government of the day that means should we say that public administration should get actively involved with the government should we say that public administration should get actively involved in the government how do you see how public administration should get involved so there should be involvement of abad with the government but not in the political system of the government not with the politics of the government but with the 
welfare goal set by the government attachment should be towards what attachment should be towards the uh, what do you call the goals and the what do you call uh, objectives of the government but not with the political requirements that means you should clearly have this discrimination and right? public administrators should show a clear discrimination of where they should get involved and in uh, and in what not right so that is they should get clearly involved in the welfare welfare goals development bringing change but not with the party politics right so when we talk about government government are two phases right one phase is to be the, uh, one phase is about the politics and the other and the other one uh, and the other phase is about bringing development and welfare so if you take public administration public administration should get involved in the second phase that is in it should be dealt with development and welfare but not with the politics right so that is what the point is so public administration is not a value free if we take second stage in the evolution of public administration both in stage 1 as well as stage 2 the scholars claimed the scholars claimed that public administration is value free but it cannot be value free it is always value oriented public administration is a value oriented discipline it is an value oriented discipline all right so all right right so this is one goal value social equity that is ensuring equity all right that is bringing change in the society so equity and change according to george fredrickson all right according to george fredrickson right public administration that does not bring change or public administration which does not take care of all right which does not take care of the interest of deprived sections of the society all right it will become a demand to that sections right that is simply according to george fredrickson he considered that public administration right primarily public administration should bring uh, should bring equity right so that is it is it has a primary role of removing the inequalities right removal of inequalities removal of inequalities then it has a primary responsibility of what do you call bridging the gap between different sections of society because remember we are talking about american society where there is racial discrimination so there is a racial discrimination so this racial discrimination need to be what do you call bridge it need to be what do you call uh, eliminated all right that means it is the duty of public administrators to remove these inequalities and promote equity in case in case if public administration does not work for the welfare of these deprived sections or minorities or the uh, the downtrodden then in such countries in such societies public administrators will act will become a demons right so they will try to repress that minorities so minorities here in the sense it is about the discriminated people that is public administrators which will not work for change will act as a repressing institution all right so you can find this in mohit bhattacharya so this statements of george fredrickson i picked it from mohit bhattacharya all right and remember the entire discussion on new public administration it is from mohit bhattacharya new horizons of public administration by mohit bhattacharya all right so 
so that is the primary goal the primary goal of the primary goal of public administration should not be neutral if abad is neutral to society will will it bring change no it should not be neutral it should be proactive right so public administration is a proactive institution right where public administrators are always regarded as moral agents right so public administration is a moral act whereas public administrators are moral agents moral act and moral agent moral act and moral agent so public administrators they are required they are required to bring about this what you call change and equity right so they are if we take public administration public administration is citizen oriented right so citizen orientation right which includes right right which includes which promotes participation of people right it is not customer it is citizen so what is the difference between citizen and customer if you take business administration right they they view every individual as customers but for public administration it is not customer it is citizen so citizen has much citizen is a value or a, what called value laden concept right so when we talk about this citizen right so there are preferences given by the administrators right preference should be given to the citizens to whom sir first who should be given first importance in public service delivery whether all the people or the one who is in needy the weaker so now we should identify right so there is a there is a pause to discrimination again when we talk about discrimination we have two types positive discrimination and negative discrimination so here in this case it is about positive discrimination all right so who should be given importance all right who should be given importance all right so here it is the weaker the downtrodden all right if you take customer there is no discrimination all are equal for business administration all are given the same service at the same cost but if you take public administration same service is given at a differential cost if you take indian system if you take indian society today do we have uh, uh, subsidies or not if you take indian government right do we have subsidies in providing of goods and service or not whether all the people though we are citizens of india though we are all the, uh, though we are all citizens of india do all citizens get equal subsidies no why some people are given subsidy why not others so there is a reason for this the economic inequalities it is because of economic inequalities so because of this economic inequalities we see a kind of discrimination right and this discrimination is essential in order to bridge what inequalities in order to remove inequalities and in order to promote equity without this it is not possible with this it is not possible what you call uh, uh, to promote the goal of equity justice we should not treat all the people equally the people who are unequal should be treated uh, what you call uh, unequally those who are equal should be treated equally that is what justice means not according to my words according to aristotle treating all the equals equally and treating unequals unequally is justice but treating equals unequally is injustice or treating unequals equally is injustice all right so this new public administration or if you take uh, frank marini right frank marini has highlighted these goals not only frank marini but even dwight waldo himself he has given right certain characters or goals of public a new public administration client oriented bureaucracy representative bureaucracy right participative bureaucracy similarly even a negro and negro right client centeredness 
citizen, what do you call uh, citizen centeredness change oriented all right so these are all right are the goals of new public administration all right so frank marini or you take dwight waldo or you take nigro and nigro all these have given all they have given the goals of new public administration and remember you can also use these goals of new public administration in the chapter of development administration all right remember so this is a topic that you can use not only in pabad but also you can use this in ethics paper each of these goals each of these goals of npa they act of principles to be followed by public servants ethical principles to be followed by public servants the first chapter of ethics all right so you can use in ethics paper you can use in development administration both in paper 1 as well as paper 2 you can also use the same content in role of civil